okay so we completed till over here isn't it we found out that what is my magnetic field dh this dh is called as actually magnetic field db uh, this h yeah actually i'll tell you what is this h it is called as magnetic field intensity word or not and b is called as magnetic field got it and h is called as i think h is magnetic field intensity just like we have electrical field uh, sorry uh, i think i'll have to call it as magnetic field intensity per unit length something like that it is called as okay okay so this is another thing but this dh you term it as db right now are you able to get me or not so what we found uh that i will teach you in magnetic effect of current uh, sorry uh, magnetism and its properties are you able to get me or not what is this h and what is this b are you able to get me okay so right now uh, we got our idea of magnetic field around the ring that if it is a ring then let us have a quick recap i told you that that was a derivation of it yeah so point is very very simple that if i have any kind of a ring okay and then if i want to find the magnetic field at any of these two points remember that if the current is moving like this way this is my direction of current in the ring okay are you able to get me okay so and if the radius of the ring is r okay and these points are located at some distance x from the center of the ring got it oh, uh, sorry we are not calling it x we are calling it z and we are calling this uh, we are not calling this as r we are calling it as a small a yes so then the magnetic field at these point for both of the points they point in the same direction are you able to get me or not and if this ring has n turns then the magnetic field as we derived it is given as mu not n i uh, a square divided by 2 r square plus sorry a square plus z square to the power of 3 by 2 from here also you can check like if i put z is equal to 0 then magnetic field at the center z is equal to 0 means what magnetic this means that i'm talking about center isn't it so magnetic field at center is nothing but simply mu not n i a square divided by 2 a square to the power of 3 by 2 so it becomes on a cube so this is mu not n i a by 2 are able to uh, sorry mu not n i by 2 i say is this clear which we derived earlier are able to get me or not clear okay so we derived this now let us take examples based on ring so we derived ring we derived arc we derived circular ring then we did some straight line now we'll do the questions based on combined rings and arcs and all all those kind of things okay so let's take one example let's suppose there are two infinite wires okay and let's suppose the radius of the ring is r 
got it and these wires are infinite remember that they are what infinite if a current is moving like this way then find the magnetic field at the center find the magnetic field at the center o Yeah, semi infinite wires. Tell me what is the correct answer? Okay, look over here. First thing, I'll tell you one thing. I'll give you one hint. No hint. Basically, you only tell me if there is a wire like this way, and current is flowing like this way. And if I want to find the magnetic field at this point, which lies on the axis of wire, what is the magnetic field over here? Is this point is perpendicular to the wire? The answer is no. Is this wire? Is this point? is lying something at some distance the answer is no if it lies remember that any point which lies on the axis of wire it has always the magnetic field equal to zero got it yeah so here due to this part zero yeah so thus the magnetic field at o is mu not i by Four R, and then if this is like this way, so it will rotate like this way or not? So for clockwise direction, it will be along plus Z axis, isn't it? Correct. So it is. Uh, if I no 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 wait 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 if I apply right hand thumb rule and if you curl your fingers like this way. then your thumb will go inside not outside isn't it minus k k k k are able to get me or not always use this yes so always semi circle you apply this formula any any formula any formula what is that for any magnetic field of any r it is mu not by 2r mu not i by 2r theta by 2 pi isn't it so here theta is 180 that means pi so this becomes mu not i by 4r yes can i move ahead Now let's suppose if 
if i have another semi circular arc like this way okay then find the uh, so current is going like this way okay then find the magnetic field at point o where the radius of this semicircular arc is r capital r whatever you want to consider find the magnetic field at point o I'm not aware. Check it first. Okay, first of all, uh, for these two wires, once again, this is a semi-infinite case or not, where alpha is zero and beta is equal to ninety degree. So magnetic field at O is due to magnetic field due to wire one. Let's suppose this is wire one. This is reason two, and this is reason three. So reason one plus reason two plus reason three. So B naught is equal to mu naught. If I this is y, so mu naught i by four pi sine alpha is zero sine ninety. So it will only come one, isn't it? And L cap. What what what? Which value? Yes, four pi r. Yes. Now, if I take L cap cross R cap, L cap is I cap, and R cap is minus. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. L cap is J cap, and R cap is minus I cap. Isn't it? Then plus due to this R, mu naught. I by two R. Here theta is ninety degree. That means pi by two divided by two pi. Isn't it? And if you curl your fingers like this way, then the magnetic field will be like inside it. Isn't it? Minus K cap. Here also same thing. Mu naught I by four pi R. Sine ninety plus sine zero, and here current is going along I cap cross J cap. Are you able to get me? L 
tap cross hey one minute sorry uh, one minute one minute the arrows of these lines will point uh, towards this direction no? yeah towards the or towards the point where the yeah so here let me change once this is yeah so for this for this one current is j cap and this is i cap so j cross i and here it is minus j so if you look over here then b not is equal to these are same so twice mu not i by 4 pi r minus k cap this will also get added that is mu not i by 8 r minus k cap are you able to get me you take the common and all that's your task is this clear yeah. totally Got it? Can I move ahead? Okay. Do one more question. Let me check if I have such kind of a figure or not. Okay. So look over here, what is happening? That I have a spiral kind of a coil. Which kind of a coil? Sorry, it should not. Let me take the image. Spiral coil. Uh, image. Any other image is not there. Okay, we can take this. No, no. Yeah, this image I can take, but we'll show that. Yeah. One minute. So look over here. Now I am taking one example of very good example. You can say what is happening. Oh shit. One minute. I'll have to search it once again. So uh, just okay. Let me ask you one thing. Do you know about something called as a spiral coil? So my point is same. See, what happens that people do not consider a spiral coil as like they do not usually consider it, know it or not. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you one minute. People think that the magnetic field for the spiral coils like these kind of coils will get totally cancelled but in reality that does not happens got it so we are going to do one such kind of a example only i think it's not taking download and all let me see yes uh, something like this it will not get smaller uh, how to take a spiral coil they have so many examples of a spiral coil you do not need in and out diameters No, 
no more. It's totally interconnected. So you can see the image now. Yeah, so basically, uh, okay, let me take this image. Now it is clear. Yeah. Okay. It took me a lot of time to find it. Okay. Now look over here. See. This is some kind of a coil which is given to us. Okay. This is called as a spiral coil. Are you able to get me? Yeah. Now what is happening that inside it if I connect these two ends with a battery, why or not? Then, and if I make a current to move inside it, got it? The current is rotating like this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Okay. Yeah. So look over here. If you see that, there are two radiuses, inner radius and outer radius. Okay. So inner radius of the coil is given by A, while this is my outer radius. Are you able to get me? So, inner radius is A, outer radius is how much? B. Outer radius is how much? B. So, question is very, very simple. That if this is the center of the coil, then find the magnetic field at the center of coil. One of the most tricky question of physics ever asked. Okay. Magnetic uh, center of a spiral coil. Got it. If my inner radius is A, while outer radius. is B and let's suppose the total number of turns is A and these turns which we have is equal to capital N. Are you able to get me? Huh. Then find then find the particular magnetic field at the center of the coil. Current is I. Yeah, current. Consider current to be I. Do it. It's easy busy only, but you have to think one one only only one concept is there which is applied over it. Okay.
सुना यार all yes little bit of bad servers law is required but not that okay see uh, let us understand see here actually the problem is now if it is one coil then people understand it but the point is these are infinite coils so we are not aware that how many turns are there isn't it n number of turns is okay but in some reason how many turns are there we do not know so what we will do the idea is very very simple that we will follow the idea of ring element what we will follow yes we will follow the idea of ring element like we will consider that this is made up of some kind of a rings yes some kind of a rings word or not okay and we are considering such of that ring only that i have sir look over here that i have some ring over here see that which i am setting okay and in this ring some turns are there but we are considering that we'll find due to this ring of some thickness the magnetic field at the center and then we can do the calculation easily are you able to get me out so we have this ring over here which has some thickness dx are you able to get me is it clear is it clear or not so look over here see so if i see that try to see in total b minus a length i have n number of turns or not so if i look over here what is the length of one turn it is equal to n by b minus yes are you able to get me so uh, sorry not one turn if i say what is the length of one uh, gap or one meter or whatever you say because b minus a meters is equal to n turns are you able to get me so one meter is equal to n by b minus a now if i consider the thickness dx so in total in total dx length the number of turns will be how much n into dx by b minus a are you able to get me or not correct now for any case of such thing the magnetic field at the center due to circular ring is uh, or circular loop is given as what you not ni by 2r 2 into radius r isn't it so look over here for this dx if i calculate the magnetic field it will be a small magnetic field it will be equal to what mu not uh number total number of uh, turns in this dx length what is that n dx by b minus a into current i divided by what i will use if i'll consider that this dx is located at some distance sorry at some distance dx from the center of the loop or not uh, sorry x x distance from the center of the loop are you able to get me so it is twice x so net magnetic field is nothing but integral uh, if you look over here so mu not ni by twice b minus a taken out isn't it and integral it is dx by x x varies from a to b are you able to get me so this is what mu not ni by twice b minus a ln and b by a directly are you able to get me so this is my magnetic field yes yes and i just found out that how many turns are there in dx length for this dx i just i since i am treating this dx this whole part of the dx as just a small kind of a ring so i can easily find out easily are you able to get me or not 
is it clear got it can i move ahead okay i'll include one or two more questions are you ready for it okay i think i have those questions over here is it okay man? yeah one minute let me take this up yeah so look over it. do this try this question it says that figure shows a current loop having two circular arcs okay like this way they are joined by two radial lines then find the magnetic field b at the center o are you able to get me or not if inner radius is a outer radius is b are you able to get me yeah do it Do it fast. Should I help or can I do it? See, it is it is very very. Uh, it's not that hard. Just apply that formula. Magnetic field. Yeah. Due to the circular R, A simply mu naught n i by two R theta by two pi. Got it. Okay, so see, there are two arcs. First, due to A B. Yeah, mu naught i by two r. Here it is theta by. Okay, sorry. The radius of this inner circle is A. So mu naught i by two A into theta by two pi. Are you able to get me? But see, if it is rotating like this way, so if you put your thumbs like this way, then how how the magnetic field will be over here? See, here it is anti-clockwise direction now. So remember, for anti-clockwise direction current, the magnetic field is upward. For clockwise direction, the magnetic field is downwards. Are you able to get me? So this is what this will be along plus. Uh, Plus k cap, isn't it? Are you able to get me? 
now magnetic field due to dc it will be how much mu not i by twice p theta by 2 pi and minus k cap isn't it are you able to get and due to these parts see this point lies on the axis of ad and bc or not so magnetic field due to ad is 0 is equal to magnetic field due to bc hello can you hear me can you yeah now can you hear me so my point is very very clear that magnetic field due to ad is equal to 0 and that is equal to magnetic field due to this part bc because this whole Zero, because see, due to AD, the lie this origin um, means lies on the same line of the current or not? Yeah, correct, isn't it? So therefore, magnetic field at center O is given by equation. It will be mu. Yeah, so mu naught i theta by. Can I take mu naught i by theta four pi common? And if I take plus k cap as positive, so it is 1 by a minus 1 by b. k cap. Are you able to get me? That's your answer. Okay. Is that clear? Now, take this question as a screenshot. This is your homework. Okay. You have the current moving like this way and you have to find the magnetic field at the center D. Okay. Is that clear? Go on taking a screenshot. I'll take you now. I'll include some homeworks also. Okay. Second thing is let's suppose if I have a equilateral triangle. Got it. Then question is very very simple that if this point is A, that point is C and this point is B, then find the magnetic field at the center of triangle if this is a equilateral triangle. If this is, consider any side A. Okay. Tomorrow you remind me to put the answer key. Okay. Is that clear or not? Yes. There are more homeworks. Wait, don't take tension. Okay. Okay. I'll erase this fast. Don't see it. Okay. So question is very very simple. That if I have a wire of length, so I'll write it. Okay. If we have a wire of length. Two pi r, okay, and the current fl flowing in the wire is I. Got it. Now, if we create a n side polygon. N side, okay. We do not know the total number of sides. If we create a N side polygon, yes, then find the magnetic field. Then find the magnetic field at the center of this polygon. Of this n side 
yes 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 then you have to find the magnetic field at that center are you able to get me another one this is i think third one isn't it yes i'll share you the pdf definitely i'll share you don't get tension got it are you able to get me or not yeah so i think morning we did this question na huh? yeah we calculated the magnetic field over here so this was these are all the means you can say that these are some of the things which we have done already like i recorded it earlier but i didn't posted it okay so i am giving you these once again such that you can handle it go ahead or not let me check how much you can do okay now the fourth one okay i'll share you all the pdfs don't take tension okay i'm just making you understand the question this one we will also do fourth one is there is a, a square there, there is a a rectangular loop okay there is a a rectangular loop of side a in which okay side l okay in which current i runs runs along whole surface yeah consider of breadth b got it actually breadth will be not required but consider it what it then find the magnetic field at point p then find the magnetic field at point p okay is this clear last question fifth one find the magnetic field at center o yeah actually what the problem is see we do not have more time so what i am planning is i'll give this as homework and one day i will sit and discuss all these questions okay but before that i'll complete i'll try to complete all the topic is these are some of the classic questions you can say that they are uh, most beautiful questions and i really want to discuss it but i i want to take one or two day then i'll discuss it void or not okay now the last part let's suppose if i have two infinite wires joined by a semi circular wire okay got it yeah so got it and the current is moving like this way but this time see earlier it was same thing sixth question once again find the magnetic field at center of oh. got it or not 
okay so this is your task to do it got it yes the six questions you have to do it at any cost now let us move on to our next topic okay here are there are also some questions you try it go ahead or not if you want to try already we have done this i think we have also no we didn't have done this we did this rectangle we have done already so you can try this also so i'll share you this as worksheet to you okay and that's your task to solve it so there are total i think this is 7th and this is 8th and if you will not be able to solve i'll do it all the questions as i have told you guys earlier that it will be done okay okay now let us give the another heading let us move on to our next topic and which we call it as amperes circuital law okay now the question arise that why ampere circuital law now you saw these all these problems isn't it they need a bigger 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 too much big big kinds of integration isn't it to handle any simple problem also now as earlier uh, when we studied electric field we had also calculated the electric field due to many systems but yes when the symmetry used to come we started applying gauss law isn't it and gauss law was the perfect thing which can handle the symmetrical kinds of problem are you able to get me or not yes so this is also a analogous of gauss law means will be applied only on symmetrical objects word or not or symmetrical things yeah yes so ha ah, we can say gauss law ka bhai perfect so look over here what does it says it says that the line integral so see gauss law was a surface integral here it is which integral yeah so that means i'll take b dot dl not b dot ds are you able to get me so it is integral b dot dl of the yes of the resultant magnetic field can you hear me yeah so the line integral b dot dl of the resultant magnetic field along a closed comma plane curve see that what i am using plane curve what i am using okay no there should be no unsymmetry okay is equal to mu not times the total current crossing the area bounded by the closed curve provided the electric field inside remains constant so see point is very very simple that whatever is that whatever is i want to find let's suppose if i have any kind of a, a kind of a close reason got it this is a closed loop and in it let's suppose there are many wires which are passing are able to get me is it clear so then the point is very very simple that whatever lines passes then the magnetic field on this closed loop where on this closed loop remember that 
it's not here i'm talking about it's not here i'm talking about i'm talking about it means i'm talking about the points where which are present on this closed loop then those magnetic field at those points is exactly nothing but mu not times how how much mu not times of the total current that will be enclosed inside the closed loop are you able to get me or not but the condition is very very simple that inside it you must keep your electric field to be constant i can ask me sir why there is a reason for this that if i change my electric field the current will start to vary and as current will start to vary the magnetic field at each point will never remain constant are you able to get me or not so this is why we need to make our electric field to be constant so in formulation basis if you write it is given as b dot dl is equal to mu not into i enclosed are you able to get me and this is called as ampere's circuit law this is statement yes are able to get me so this is called as ampere's circuit law is that clear or not symmetrical bodies we'll see much more of that are able to get me now if if i consider the simplified form okay if i just consider the simplified form then magnetic field into length l because this dl integration becomes length l isn't it but length l of what closed loop okay is equal to mu not times i enclosed are you able to get me but as i told you that these laws like gauss law then uh, gauss law was only applied at some points isn't it it has a conditions attached to it so conditions for applying where you will apply ampere circuit law is it clear first condition first condition is simple that at every point at every point of the closed path b magnetic field must be parallel to my length element are you able to get me or not so on this closed path the magnetic field and dl both are in same direction are you able to get me or not then only it's possible to get the ampere circuit law to apply the ampere circuit law if magnetic field becomes perpendicular to dl then this is what b dl cos 90 which is zero are you able to get me yeah second thing magnetic field b must be or magnetic field has the same magnitude okay at the all at the all places of closed path is it clear so we got to know so many things about right now isn't it are you able to get me so now 
as I told you that if we have symmetrical bodies, then we can apply easily our Ampere circuital law. And uh, Bayard Servit's law is mainly for the current distributions. And like many examples, like uh, a, a small semi, a small current loop or something like that. But here, Ampere's law will be mainly applied to handle the symmetrical bodies. Are you able to get me? Is it clear? Okay, so if it is clear, then let us write some of the equations. Let's think of one case. Let's imagine that if I have a current loop and there are some current wires like this way. Okay. And there is another wire I4. And currents are going like here I1, I2, okay, I3, I4. Are you able to get me? Yes. So then, then. Remember that this magnetic field is present on this loop, not anywhere inside it. Are you able to get me? Are you able to get me? And this is called as then Amperian loop. What it is called as? And therefore the line integral of V dot DL which we write mu naught we know that so I1 will be positive, isn't it? I2 will be positive, but I3 negative and I4 will not be included because it is, yeah, because the reason for that is I4 is not included because it is away. Yeah, are you able to get me? Hmm. Question arises. The question arises in a very simple way. That where will be the magnetic field that will be produced? So then you have to check. Are you able to get me? You have to check basically that here, as we say, the which amount of current is more. If upward current is more, then means if upward current is more are you able to get me or not so then what happens remember that for any kind of a loop upward current is always considered positive and for that the magnetic field how will be the magnetic field will be generated if, if it is upward and if I put the thumb, we'll see that B is generated anti-clockwise on the loop where it is generated anti-clockwise on the loop. Are you able to get me? Is it clear? So magnetic field is like this way. Magnetic field I'm representing by this line. This is now magnetic field. Earlier we were talking about generation of magnetic field at some point, but we were not talking about its direction. Here we can see the direction. Are you able to get me? If I is negative, means if the magnetic field is generated like that way, that also means that I is what? Negative. Are you able to get me? Is it clear? Write it. Write it fast. So that means that it is following which rule? Right hand thumb rule. Okay. Now, yeah, so look over here. Now, as we got to know about so many points, so question arises that, sir, you described so many points over here, but you didn't talk that much about VDL. So we know that VDL is dependent upon I enclosed, isn't it? Second point, many people have a 
confusion that how the b will be dependent so remember that b vector which will come on that loop is dependent on every current yeah yeah it does not mean that whether it is outside inside or something like that but yes ampere's law is only defined for which case the loop case for the defined loop are you able to get me or not second thing many people think that if i take b dot dl to be zero that means magnetic field is also zero but that is incorrect this does not implies that magnetic field is also how much zero are you able to get me or not the reason for that is very very simple that due to total current the magnetic field is becoming zero are you able to get me but what about this i4 still there is a magnetic field due to this i4 or not how come it will not be there but we are not counting it are you able to get me yeah okay now look over here next thing let's suppose if there is a loop but i have only one wire but what i did i did something interesting one minute shit why i'm not able to make snake got it so a current loop is made means this current wire is made to go up and inside the loop are you able to get me or not and let's suppose current i was only moving then question arises that what is the line integral of this loop so here remember that although it is single wire it does not mind every wire will behave like a current source ampere circuit law says that is equal to mu not see first time current was up so plus i then current goes down then minus i then one second goes plus up so plus i one second goes down so minus i so it is equal to how much zero are you able to get me or not if it would have been one more turn means every segment is considered like a one turn of the loop are you able to get me yes yes is that clear but it we can take another example also let's suppose let's suppose this is my loop and the current the wire is like solenoid first dot is there dot dot means what coming out cross means inside so i'm putting the wire like this way same wires okay then i told you that find the magnetic field inside this loop so what will happen is that this outside wire segment which are there they will not be considered now are you able to get me or not because see this is something like this kind of a loop okay here it was totally different first case it was totally different here it is totally different there is a segment which goes outside of the loop are you able to get me or not so therefore the line equation it is integral b dot dl is simply how much three i's are inside it otherwise others are outside so i must write b dot dl is equal to 3 mu not i that's all that's all answer over here are you able to get me is it totally clear so you should always think that how the amperian amperian loop is created and how i need to consider it are you able to get me or not i'll take one more example let's suppose i created a infinite kind of a loop okay
void or not and inside it i made some wires to move got it so this is current i i1 this is current i2 are you able to get me and this is current i3 question is very very simple that what do you see basically the loop is like this way or not this is not symmetrical unsymmetrical it is it isn't it but still but still i can define my ampere circuit law because still both sides are symmetrical isn't it so integral b dot dl will be what mu not mu dl see for first part second part if i consider only one part then it is unsymmetrical but if i consider two parts then it is symmetrical or not so then definitely for this whole part i can apply the ampere circuit law are you able to get me okay so look over here if i if i just consider i1 i2 i1 as positive so it is going to be written as i1 minus i2 plus i3 are you able to get me or not because here y plus i3 i have said <coughs> see here i1 was plus i2 was negative but what about this the what about this loop suddenly y i3 is positive there is a reason for that sir you look over here as i1 i am considering i'll consider the magnetic field like this way on this loop or not yes but what about this it will start going opposite isn't it so if remember that there is another sign convention if current is in the direction of magnetic field loop then it is positive so look over here if i consider this kind of a loop then it points out that the magnetic field will be downwards isn't so uh, sorry uh, if i think uh, did i have taken a correct way or incorrect way i think i have drawn wrong diagram okay if i take like this way go it or not so look over here if it is rotating this is anti clockwise direction of rotation or not so how the magnetic field is generated upwards yeah so for that the current will be negative so i3 is what minus simply are you able to get me and here here if you look over here it is clockwise so magnetic field direction is downward so i2 is positive and i1 is negative are you able to get me so see when you have different different loops now you should follow this rule that if the current is along the direction of magnetic field see okay first of all these are my two loops yes so i'm considering a movement i'm considering the movement of current if it would have been there or a magnetic field like i started with this arrow so i'll i need to follow this isn't it yeah so if this arrow points dl element then we know that from here to here from here to here it is which direction clockwise or anti clockwise then magnetic field is where upwards or downwards clockwise means downwards only na yes so if it is clockwise and it is downwards then the rule is simple if the current is along the direction of magnetic field then it is positive otherwise it is negative
Yeah. Is it clear? Okay, so this was all about your Ampere's law, Ampere's orbital law. Yeah. Got it? Okay, so this was all about your Ampere's orbital law, and all these parts where current is considered on the loop kind of a thing. Are you able to get me? So now it is your task to solve these problems and ask me as much as doubts possible. Are you able to get me or not? Okay. Can you? Uh, I'll share you this sheet. 